trapped motorist. The tool they are using is the hydraulic spreader and it works on hydraulics. It can prise open an object such as this car door. Doesn't the hydraulic spreader look like an oversized pair of pliers? But what do we use to remove the car door completely? The hydraulic cutter. It is designed to cut through metals. A job well done for the hydraulic spreader and the hydraulic cutter. This is a hydraulic press. It is used to press metals into certain shapes. In fact, hydraulic presses are used to shape whole aircraft sections. So far, we have seen that the hydraulic system is used in many machines that help us do work. In the next segment, we shall see a different type of pressure machine that does not use a hydraulic liquid to work. You might have seen the pneumatic drill at work. The pneumatic drill is a pressure machine that uses the pneumatic system instead of the hydraulic system. It uses compressed air instead of oil. Let's see how a pneumatic system works. First, an effort is applied to a piston. The piston compresses air in a pipe and the air pressure rises. When a valve is opened, air rushes out of the system. The pressure of the escaping air can do work, such as turning a fan. Many tools use the pneumatic system, like the pneumatic drill. Compressed air is first pumped into the air inlet. The force of the compressed air drives the piston down to hit a chisel-like tool at the lower end. The pneumatic drill is very effective in breaking up road surfaces. Poor Stephen. He seems to have a toothache. Perhaps the dentist can help him. What's that sound? It couldn't be from the pneumatic drill used at construction sites. I'm afraid you need a filling for the tooth. But do you know that the dentist drill works on the pneumatic principle? Air flows into an air inlet tube. This air turns the turbine blades, which then causes a drill bit to turn thousands of times a second. Do you know that the high-pitched noise is actually caused by the high-speed turning of the drill? What a relief for Stephen. Unscrewing these nuts of the tire can take some time. But wait, there should be an easier way to do this. Yes, the pneumatic screwdriver. As in the dentist's drill, compressed air enters the tool and flows past a rotating blade which then completes the screwdriver action. Now isn't that a lot easier? This sound might seem familiar to you. Right, it is the bus door opening. This is a pneumatic device that controls the opening and closing of the door. Do you notice something that is common to all pneumatic machines? Yes. Pneumatic machines make a lot of noise when the high-pressured gas is released. Hydraulic machines are quieter than pneumatic machines because hydraulic machines use oil instead of air. 
In this program, we have seen two types of pressure machines which help us to do work. The hydraulic machines, which use liquid, and the pneumatic machines, which use air. Look around you for more of these machines. <laughs>